Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to a comparison video. Um, <clears throat> never thought I'd do this comparison. It's only because my mate Simo, he sent me a can of the normal bad kitty, which I've already ordered a Christmas kitty from Trembling Madness. I'll be able to do this. So cheers, Simo, for sending me it. Um, we're off to Brass Castle. We're off to Moulton in Yorkshire. <clears throat> Seen as like a foodie capital of Yorkshire in a way. Uh, I've never been to Moulton in my life. Um, but I've heard some great things. It's worth a visit. So maybe I should get my ass into gear and get over there. <clears throat> and maybe visit this stop. We're off to Brass Castle. Um, and we've got two beers from them. We've got a core range beer and a festive edition um, of their core range beer. So... The cool range beer is Bad Kitty. Now, Bad Kitty, I've done on this channel. Um, it's a vanilla porter clocking at 5.5% ABV. This was the one that Simo sent us. Um, it doesn't say anything on the description of the can, but there you go. Now, Simo sent me that, and I already had an order a Trending Madness put in, and... I ordered the Christmas kitty, which is the festive vanilla porter coming in at the same strength. There you go. Iconic cans indeed. <clears throat> so let's crack open the normal. The normal um, bad kitty. You know what it's like to be a bad kitty, don't you? See what we get. And you get vanilla. And chocolate, plain chocolate, really, for me. But it smells pretty, pretty, pretty nice. It does. So let's open the Christmas kitty. See what we get. Let's find out which beer is the better. And also whether or not this is, you know... The festive, the festive spices, have they made a difference in the aroma of the beer? There's a slight difference there for sure. That's vanilla chocolate. Christmas kitty. There's cinnamon there. There's a spice there. So already there is a difference. Um, I suppose it's like being a painter. You got your blank canvas and you you splash a little bit of colour on and you know that's a you know not bad little landscape picture but then you paint the same picture again and you paint your landscape again and you add a bit more floral to it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? No. Didn't think it would. So let's pour out the bad kitty and give it a little mini review, like you do. So, as you can see, lovely looking beer, off-white head, nice and dark, black, off-white head. And as you can see, quite a compact head, dissipating down to, uh, it's going down like. There we go, we've got a cat hair at the top of the beer as well which is nice isn't that nice so this is the bad uh, the bad kitty so bad kitty get rid of the cat hair it's your fault stupid bad kitty's got a cat hair let's get the aroma from the glass Not much like it plain chocolate vanilla smells lovely put it up to the light you can see through it there's a shadow through that um so i'm gonna go in cheers Vanilla, chocolate, nice, sessionable beer. To be honest, it's it's um, not too sweet. A little bit of bitterness thrown in. Hmm. Rather, rather nice. So, 
stick that there. Let's bring over the Christmas kitty. More or less identical cans, but this one instead of dots, it's got baubles on. Baubles on. So let's just whack it in the glass like you do. There we go. I would say they'd be pretty much identical in colour. I would say they would be, but you would have thought so, wouldn't you? Um, I don't know what hops are in this, to be honest. Um, I looked on the website, it's not saying um, at all. Uh, but yeah, Morton is Yorkshire's food capital. Food capital. And, you know, the food in Yorkshire is, you know, bloody good, isn't it? You know, Yorkshire rascals are bloody nice. You know what a Yorkshire rascal is. Bloody nice, they are. So, I have to wait for it to settle a little bit. As you can see, <coughs> head is compact again, but it's... Dissipating a little bit down more. It's, stay, it's staying kind of like where it is more like. So, could be the cinnamon. Could be. So, we're in. Christmas kitty has arrived. So, there you go. So, being a glass, let's see through it. Can we see through it? I'll tell you what. You can see through it, but not as much as not as much as the uh, the normal kitty. Get the aroma. Yeah, spice. There is spice to it for sure. Cinnamon for me, nutmeg maybe, but it's definitely there. I'm gonna go in. Cheers, everyone. You definitely do not pick up the chocolate as much in this. Um, you know, the cinnamon and the spiciness is quite prevalent in the taste. So there is a big difference. Nice, easy drinking again. Yeah, it's nice. So I've got to pick a winner. Try to pick a winner. What do I prefer personally? What I prefer personally. So we have got two great sessionable beers. Um, so first of all, we'll go with the stick that there. Stick that. We go with the colour. Put them up there like JB. You can see slightly more through the bad kitty slightly more um so the aromas more spice in this but do i prefer the spice or do i prefer the normal i'll be honest with you this is on a personal level i prefer the normal you know, I, I do like Christmas beers, you know, they're all right, but I'm thinking it from the point of, the point of, well, from the perspective that if I'm going to drink it in the evening, and a few of them, I will get fed up with more with that. So, I haven't even tasted them, I guess, <laughs> I've already made up my mind. I'm going to go in with the normal bad kitty. Now the Christmas. Body of the beers, exactly the same. Exactly the same. But I have a winner. And this is down to a personal level. Level, 
a personal taste level, should I say. It's not down to the beer quality at all. Um, the one I prefer is the normal one. And the reason why I prefer the normal bag kitty is down to personal taste and it's down to the spiciness. Um, I just prefer a normal vanilla porter as opposed to a spiced festive vanilla porter. They've achieved what they've set out to do with the Christmas one. Um, yeah, it's a spicy festive one for sure. But when it comes down to personal taste and if I was in a pub for a few hours um, out of, you know, five or six pints in or whatever, which one would I prefer out of the two? It's definitely the normal vanilla porter because it's more palatable. Um, and it would obviously go with, you know, different foods and whatever for me. The spicy one... It's great. Um, it's a great Christmas beer. They've done it. Yeah, they've done it. Big thumbs up. But for me, um, the bad kitty is uh, the winner. But saying to you is that, you know, support breweries. Go out and buy them because they're still, they're still great beers, still drinkable. You know, they're still enjoyable. But, you know, just a slight taste difference. Thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, I've enjoyed this one, whilst I've got going in it. Anyway, <laughs> um, see you all again on another comparison. I think I've got another one. I don't know, have I? I don't know, I can't remember. See you on my next one. Bip, bip.